example about the biodiversity too and uh, in this part I am going to describe about the gymnosperm uh, it is in, uh, inclusively and exclusively for uh, the uh, Calcutta University uh, generic elective courses of botany. So the diagnostic character of gymnosperms uh, just uh, nothing but it, it was uh, first described by the year of uh, 3000 BC uh, of by the Theophrastus and it was written in inquiry into plants. What is gymnosperm? Gymnos means uh, naked and sperma means seeds. So these plants have their seeds completely naked and without any fruit coat. And fruit layers are also absent. And their leaves are like fern. So it is also known as fern like foliage. The ovules are freely exposed before and after the fertilization. So if, if the ovules are naked, so their ovules uh, when transformed into a seed, it also are naked. So high degree of vascular system development is present and xylem with wood vessels and phloem with companion cells or companion cells are present. Self and cross pollinated uh, plants are also they 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 are um, basically gymnosperms are uh, two types of uh, pollination occurred in, in their uh, plant system and development of ovules into seeds and that seeds uh, are also a very very important for maintaining their progeny from one generation to the next generations. So this is the uh, kind of uh, also known as uh, living fossil because uh, most of their changes most of their evolutionary characters are same as when they have been evolved like uh, uh, 300 uh, million years ago they have been originated in, in the De Devonian period. Uh, so their, their changes are not very uh, uh, characteristically very uh, conformed. So these are kind of the uh, plant they have been also noted as living fossils as they are originated far away and till without any changes they are just existing in this evolved plant system. So adaptation are very very minimal for this kind of plant. Now I am going to describe about the Cycadophyta. It has been originated uh, on uh, by 250 million years ago and it is also a palm like appearance. They have the branch uh, uh, with the uh, branchless system and uh, with petiole scar also there and tissue are very soft because uh, they, they doesn't have the true wood and leaves are connected with stem by a petiole. Petiole is nothing but a connective between stem and leaf frond and leaf veins, leaf veins are absent, completely absent but griddling present that runs leaf to stem. So green and pinnately compound leaves are also present and coralloid roots also present uh, in a symbiotic and uh, uh, symbiotic cyanobacteria is also present into their root system. So male and female plants are also different and so it is called the monoecious uh, sorry it is called a dioecious plant and uh, male cone produce sorry male plant produce male cone and female plants produce generally female uh, cone but male and female vicinity if different they do not have produce any uh, kind of uh, poly uh, they, they cannot be able to pollinate to each other so after pollination large seeds are developed and seeds are converted with fleshy layer and called the sarcotesta and uh, the example of this cycadophyta is known as the ericaceae. In our next slide, I am going to describe about the coniferophyta. This is also have root, stems and vegetative as, a, as, a, as and leaves as a vegetative organs and stems are usually woody and leaves are waxy and needle like. They have a xylem and phloem as a vascular tissue. Cambium are present. Cambium, if cambium are present, cambium contains xylem and phloem and each year they have producing a major amount of xylem and phloem. 
so this xylem and phloem uh, is a uh, kind of production uh, it, it is uh, consisting the uh, uh, production of the wood of the plant so it, it uh, increase their girth of the wood so woody plants or shabby plants if they have the cambium this type of the uh, cambium system or cambium system in a vascular bundle is known as open type of vascular bundle pollen is also produced in a male cones and pollen are small structure contain male gametes ovules are also produced in a female cones ovules contain female gametes and develop into a seed after fertilization has occurred so seeds are produced and dispersed through different agents these seeds consist an embryo and uh, uh, and food reserve materials inside the seed coat so coniferophyta do not produce any fruits but fruits and seeds are uh, that is a same but because uh, there is a no food coat uh, fruit coat so uh, the seeds are nothing but the fruit and they have a single layer uh, developed by from the ovary wall so ovary when after maturation of the seed they are just becoming uh, uh, another kind of the single layer uh, above the uh, seed coat so maximum size of the coniferophyta is about 100 meters and there are some a few examples are there like uh, abies uh, uh, catathia cedrus uh, catillaria larix picia pinus pseudo larix pseudo sugar and sugar uh, now in in the slides i am going to describe about the nitophyta these are the woody plants which some species are trees like Nitam Nimon and many are uh, uh, kind of the shrubs and stumpy uh, trump like uh, or woody like it is known as Velvishia mirabilis. Leaves are simple elliptical or strap shaped strap uh, like uh, kind of zipper strap and uh, sometimes reduced into a minute scale and uh, this is a kind of uh, uh, very characteristics when strap like leaves are just converted into a minute scale uh, for the minima uh, reduction or minimum uh, evaporation rate to minimize the evaporation rate it uh, turns into a scale like structure and they are uh, conserve their water inside their body so they are generally opposite leaves are generally opposite and hold vessels are present in a secondary wood and secondary wood is nothing but if the cambium is grow and they are cut into xylem inside and phloem outside and each year they have been producing a layer it is called the annual ring and this annual ring producing a secondary wood uh, inside or outside of the cambial layer so flowers are unisexual usually dioecious and only or rarely monoecious as in a species of netum. Flowers are arranged in a, in a compound strobili and inflorescence. It is, it is uh, also known as strobili is also known as this inflorescence. The male flowers are surrounded by a perianth. Perianth is uh, nothing but uh, a kind of uh, uh, holding structure of the plants and uh, uh, the male uh, flower contains antherophore. Antherophore is kind of the anther and uh, 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 kind of stalk like anther and uh, with the eight synangia. Synangia is a uh, kind of anther and uh, uh, gynoecium uh, co connective uh, region. And new shellers of ovule. In the new cellus is the nutritive tissues are uh, remain surrounded by two or three envelopes and micropyle micropyle is a opening from which uh, pollen tubes has been entered into the ovum and uh, protected by a bristle like tube and at the time of the fertilization pollen tube contains two male nuclei and which is more more similar characteristics of like angiosperm so this is all about the uh, characteristics of uh, gymnosperms and uh, with diagnostic characteristics of psych uh, psychatophyta, coniferophyta and nitophyta as mentioned by Gifford and 
Foster by the year of 1989. So thank you for listening.